Coping with the loss of a close friend or family member may be one of the hardest challenges that many of us face. Linda Beagle Schulman, whose son Scott died a hero protecting his students during the Parkland school shooting, turned her grief into meaning and purpose. Take a look. My name is Linda Beagle Schulman. I'm the mother of Scott J. Beagle, the teacher and cross country coach who was murdered in the Parkland massacre on February 14, 2018 at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Scott loved campers, he loved his students, he loved children, he loved being able to mentor. Scott started going to sleepaway camp at the age of seven. He got on that bus and never looked back. He loved camp. I believe that's where Scott just got to be Scott. He went to camp for, it was 28 summers. It would have been, I believe, his 29th summer had he gone past the age of 35. Scott was probably the most humble person you've ever met. At his funeral, uh, they had asked me how many people I thought would be there. And to be quite honest, I said, oh, maybe a hundred. The rabbi took me aside and said, Linda, you gotta be kidding. To make a long story short, there were a thousand people at his funeral and we had to live stream it because he knew people all over the world from going to camp. We had half a million people viewing. I decided at that moment that I was never going to mourn my son's death. I was gonna celebrate his life. And in order to celebrate his life, I had to go forward. And people always say to me, where'd you get the strength? I said, because my grief of Scott has led to a purpose. And that purpose keeps me going. And I will never mourn his death. I will always celebrate his life because that's what we have to do to keep going. I had to do something that he would be proud of and that would be in his honor. So I decided that the Scott J. Beagle Memorial Fund would be created in his honor, a legacy for him to send disadvantaged children touched by gun violence to summer camp. If we could take children and we could give them an experience like they've never had before, and we could have them love camp and look forward to going to camp the way Scott did, then it's a blessing. I told my kids, and I'll tell you, it's you who feels so good when you give to someone. This is why we started the Scott J. Beale Memorial Fund, because these are the kids that need the opportunity that Scott had to go to camp. I really believe that grief can lead to a purpose. It's so important to find a purpose. That really overshadows your grief because you're doing something. I hope wherever Scott is, he's smiling because I really just want him to be smiling. Well, we are all smiling, and Linda, that was so beautiful. Joining us today to talk about finding meaning during a time of loss is grief expert and author of Finding Meaning, David Kessler. David, thanks so much for being with us. And first, let me ask you, how did you come into this profession, helping people deal with grief? Thanks, Amy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a profession I chose. In some ways, it chose me. When I was young, I had a mother who was dying in an ICU. I was stuck in the waiting room. At our hotel where we were staying, there was one of the first mass shootings in the U.S. at the exact same time. So at such a young age, I dealt with so much loss. And there was no one there to really help me at that time. And there weren't camps like the one Linda put together. So I, I spent so many of my years trying to heal and learn about grief and making it my profession and was privileged to work with Elizabeth Kubler-Ross on the five stages of grief. And a few years ago, my younger son unexpectedly died. Mm. And when that moment happened, so brutal. And I had to go through grief like everyone else. And at that time, when I got to the stage of acceptance, it wasn't enough. I knew I needed to find more. I, I knew in my soul I needed to find meaning to honor him. And that became the sixth stage of grief. And I'm so thrilled that the Elizabeth Kubler-Ross family gave me permission to add a stage to her iconic stages. And we want our loved ones' death to mean something. We want our lives to honor them and to change the world. So how are there ways that we can do that? Because it sounds beautiful. I mean, I was listening to uh, the story from Linda and listening to your story. And as a mother, I can't imagine how you get to that place. Yeah, it, it is hard there. You know, the tips I put together, they're, they're not easy. But just like you saw with Linda, there is so much purpose to be found. The first tip is helping is healing. 
we saw that with Linda's work in honor of her son. It helps us, it helps the world. The second tip is finding meaning doesn't have to be big. You don't have to start an organization or change a law. It's really meaningful moments. Maybe your loved one was so kind and you take on some of their kindness to make the world a better place. The third one is meaning takes time. And this is an important one. Every loss has meaning. And meaning isn't in the death. There's no meaning to be found in a horrific shooting or in someone dying of cancer. Meaning is our response. It's what we do after. And it may be months or years till we find it. And four, it's remembering with more love than pain. And meaning doesn't erase the pain. You don't get to go around the pain, but it does become a cushion for your pain. And five, there's no right or wrong way to find meaning. Just like in grief, there's no right or wrong way to do it. There's no timeline in grief. It's about how you do it and no one else's way of doing it. It's about your experience and honoring that. So many of us needed to hear your words today, David. Thank you so much. We appreciate you sharing them with us. And David's book, Finding Meaning, is available wherever books are sold. Be well. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.